This is Twit. All righty. Well, we have a couple of feedback questions this week, and our first one comes from Mike, who has written in. Hi there. I wasn't sure if this was more of an iOS today or a hands-on tech type of question, but here goes with it. With the release of the new Mac Mini, I think I finally want to upgrade my 2009, seriously, Mini that I use basically as a headless server for Homebridge channels, etc. The old Mini doesn't really update anymore, and I'm falling behind on those services as well as a result. As a side note, I will say that otherwise it is still totally useful for web browsing and emails, which is a testament to Apple. Yes, I agree with that. Currently, in order to actually use the Mini, I have to swap around HDMI inputs on my TV and go get my keyboard and trackpad. I don't use it often, and it's just inconvenient enough to be annoying. I'd like to know if there's an app I can run on the Mini that would allow me to connect using my iPad, making it my keyboard, mouse, and monitor. I would like it to be persistent through restarts, as this is the primary time that I need my Mini to restart various servers. Thanks for any help you can provide. Well, the good news, Mike, is I actually have a suggestion for you, which I personally use uh, all the time, which is Jump Desktop. So Jump Desktop, uh, you you purchase it on the iPad. It's $14.99, one-time purchase. Um, You download the free Jump Desktop Connect on the Mac Mini and set it up um, and make sure to sign in uh, on the Mac Mini as well, because that will mean that it will then hopefully be persistent through restarts. And then you can connect using your iPad. iPad. Now, the only little tricky bit for this might be if the Mac doesn't have a screen connected to it, then it can get a little bit cranky about that and that it doesn't have a display for you to replicate. And if that is the case, then there is an alternative to this, uh, which is Luna Display. Um, And Luna Display is a little dongle that you plug into the Mac Mini, pop it into one of the USB-C ports, um, and it becomes a display, um, basically. And then you can use the Luna Display app on your iPad to connect to the Mac uh, to uh, as the monitor. Uh, so that would also be worth considering. There are also options on Amazon, I haven't personally tried them, um, of a dummy HDMIs, mm-hmm. where basically you can just buy something that plugs into the HDMI port, which tells the Mac Mini yeah, there's a screen here, totally. And it's it's a fake screen so that when you just try to connect through remote desktop, then there's a screen there for it to replicate. Uh, so fingers crossed, like those options will work for you. Um, I would probably uh, go with Jump Desktop and just trying one of those dummy HDMI options from Amazon because Luna Display is great, but it's certainly on the pricier end um, of the choices. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoy your new M4 mini mac mini it's so tiny so it's adorable yeah. i love it i've got my big mac studio here and I, I i really love it but yeah if you're if you're not really using it like you know like logging on and doing stuff on it on a regular basis then absolutely having something tiny underneath your tv is a great option um something else i do just want to mention um that might make it a little easier if you do need to connect displays is you could also look into a hdmi switch uh which is a uh, basically a little bank of HDMI ports with a button on top and sometimes even a remote control to switch the inputs for that port on your TV. So I'm assuming that you don't have enough HDMI ports on your TV, which is why you have to switch the cables. But if you grab an extra HDMI cable and then, uh, yeah, you would have a HDMI switch. So then you can pop up the screen on the Mac mini, which would mean that, you know, you can at least see, ah, right, there's a security thing that I need to go through. I'll go grab the keyboard and mouse with a little less effort. Beautiful. Um, all right. That is, I, I, I agree about having like the headless one. I think that's a great way to do it. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS today where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash club twit to see all of iOS today.